Hey guys, Maggie Flips here with Onyx Designs. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. Uh, welcome. If it's your first time, welcome back. If you happened to watch one or two of the first two videos that we posted, this is our third. Uh, very excited because I'm going to be refinishing this end table and I'm going to do a full tutorial of the whole process for you. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning this piece. You want to get all the dirt and grime off of the piece before you start doing anything else. Um, well, actually, I shouldn't say that because before I do that, I'm going to remove all of the hardware because you need to clean underneath where the hardware was sitting. So I'm having a little trouble getting the piece off the door. the nail. You see this had this tiny little nail and that nail is what I had trouble getting out of the door but I did it. I was worried that this was going to crack and break but it didn't. Success! So sometimes hardware can be a bit tricky so I don't want to lose this little, this little nail, because it's the perfect size, it's meant for this piece. So I'm gonna put it in this tiny little Ziploc bag so I don't lose it. It's gonna stay in here until I'm ready to paint. I also have the screw that was in the door. And I have the new hardware that I purchased to put in the two spots in the drawer for this. I'm just gonna put it all together in this little box so nothing gets lost. I'm gonna set it aside so I'm ready to paint them. So now it's time to clean with the Dixie Bell White Lightning. First I'm going to clean inside because then I'm going to close all this up and I'm gonna do the whole outside. After cleaning, I take a bucket of clean water and I rinse the whole piece. So now that the piece is clean, I'm gonna start scuff sanding it. Um, you wanna make the surface a little rough and you also wanna remove all of the glossiness. This way the paint sticks better. Also, you always want to wear PPE. Protect your lungs. Okay, so she's all sanded down, no more gloss, nice and scuffed up to take the paint. But first I found a few spots while sanding that need a little touch up, a few little gashes, I think there's like two or three of them. So I'm going to take the Dixie Belle mud and I'm going to patch those up. So the idea with the mud is you want to make it stand up a little higher than what you're actually filling in because you want to sand down the excess to make it smooth. I like using my finger because I could feel it better. Sometimes I do use the spatula, but in this case I'm using my finger. We got a lot of little chips and dings up here that I want to smooth out. I'm going to spray the hardware with Metallic Gold Leaf by Krylon. Super gold and I'm loving it. Now 
Now I sanded down all the primer, made it nice and smooth, got rid of the few little drip spots that there were, and then I wiped the whole thing down with a wet, lint-free cloth to make sure I got rid of all of the, the dust from sanding it. And now I'm actually ready to paint. Now today I received my melange paint in the mail. This is what I've been waiting for. This is silky blue. This is my first time using this paint. I've heard very good things about it. It's actually in a glass jar, which I was a little impressed by. I didn't expect that when I pulled it out of the box. Um, but it does say that a top coat is required. So I'm going to paint the whole piece with this. I'm going to use Zebra Triangle Brush since I have a lot of curves and edges and tight spots and such. Hopefully this um, does the trick. And then I'm also using the Zebra Palm Pro. So I do like how comfortable it fits in my hand. Um, so between these two brushes, uh, hoping I can get every little nook and cranny in here because there's a lot of little details on this piece. And then after that, I will do a top coat of which I will decide at that point. Now something I'd like to add, this piece was primed because my original plan was to paint it a white and then do some wax on it and do some black wax over these accents. Um, I decided to go against that because I actually saw a piece similar to this that was painted dark and thought it looked beautiful. So I'm deciding to do this instead, even though this paint says self priming, which means it doesn't need a primer. So I kind of wasted time and material by priming this piece, but that's okay because I still want to paint it the dark color. So the first thing I did was I poured the paint into a plate because I don't want to keep dipping into the jar. I don't want to contaminate it in any sort of way. So I poured the paint. I'm going to give this a wipe before I put the the top back on so that the top doesn't get stuck. I'm just going to place this to the side. And I'm going to paint these doors first because I'm going to have to let them dry and then I'm going to have to close them so I can paint in front of here and everything so that's the first part to get done let's paint First coat of paint is on. I'm going to sand it down with some 320 and then I'm going to do the second coat after wiping the dust off. I sand in between the coats to make it extra smooth. Okay so now I've sanded down the first coat made it nice and smooth and I took a lint-free rag and I wiped all of the dust off of it so now it's ready for the second coat. Coat number two is done. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to go back over it with a third coat because I did have the white primer underneath so I just want to make sure I have full thick coverage because there are a few spots where I don't see the perfect coverage just yet. So I'll be back to do a third coat once this dries. Coat number three. This paint and the coverage is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend Melange paints. Third coat is on. From the eight ounce jar, I used about two thirds for this piece of furniture because I did three coats. And this triangle brush is awesome. Highly recommend. 
So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to wax it. All right, so the piece is dry. There it is, it's beautiful. Painted in Silky Blue by Melange. Now I am going to wax it with Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax and Clear with Dixie Belle's La Petite brush. Let's wax. This was my first time waxing a piece of furniture, so I went a little heavy on the wax, which meant that I had to spend more time wiping back the excess. I'm gonna use some gilding wax and an artist brush to do the hinges. So I wanted to give something a try, so I waxed just the front for now, and I took some gold gilded wax and went for some accents, and I kind of like the way it looks, so I'm going to keep going. And here she is, all waxed. I decided to just do the one detail on the sides. On the front, I did the hinges, and the three at the top, and the one on the bottom. I didn't want to go overboard with the gold, so I kept it rather simple. I did contemplate doing this top part, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let the wax dry for a bit and then I'll put the hardware on. Here she is. Completed. Kind of. Well, she could be completed by now, but I found a water stain on the drawer inside right here. I'll zoom in with the camera in a second. So I decided I want to line the drawer with some wallpaper. So I'm gonna get started on that. Also, I wanted to point out that I toned down the gilding wax a bit because the gold really stood out a lot and I didn't want it to stand out like that. Um, I felt like I was taking away from the blue paint. So I pulled back a bit and I kind of gave it, gave it like a faded vintage look, make it look like it's not new. And then I did the clear wax on the whole piece and I put the hardware on. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to end up zooming in on it, but this piece is really cool. Kind of looks like I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even know how to explain it. So I'll zoom in on it and let everybody see. And I'm going to put this wallpaper in. Here she is, totally done. You can see how I pulled back on the gold a little bit to give it a more worn, rustic look. These are the hinges. There's that beautiful piece of hardware that I'm in love with. And I lined 
the inside of the drawer with some gold and white wallpaper. Since I found a water stain in there and I didn't like the way it looked. And here she is. Completed. Ready for staging. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button down below and please remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you.